Welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted Special Edition. <laughs> Today is March 25th. Um, I am still here in Cebu City. I anticipate I'll be here for quite a while with everything that's going on. This is still a community quarantine in Cebu City. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about the updates what's been happening in the last couple of days. Um, our malls are still closed. Um, I anticipate they will be until at least next month, probably longer. Um, what has changed since my last video? Well, now students and senior citizens, anybody over age 65, now have a 24-hour curfew so if you're a student if you're a a senior citizen you're not allowed outside 24 hours a day except for medical purposes not even for shopping not even to go eat at a restaurant it's a total lockdown if you're over 65 or if you're a student um, all the way up to college level, or even curfewing uh, the, the college students. So everybody is on, uh, the, the really young and the really old are on curfew. Luckily for me, I'm in the middle, so um, technically I'm s still supposed to be at home, but I need to get out um, and check on a few things. Um, so that's the biggest change. Um, what else has changed? Ah, restaurants have now switched to um, takeout and delivery only since well, it started, actually started today. No more dine-in is allowed. Um, so, you know, that's, that's in line with, it seems like everywhere else around the world, even in the States, takeout and delivery. Um, I'm doing okay. I mean, my, my apartment's fully stocked. Um, money's not an issue. However, there are some other people in the Philippines that are not as lucky. There's a vlogger named Tim K. You guys can look him up on YouTube. Just type in Tim K. Philippines. Uh, he's living on a more remote island with his wife. Um, he's got money, but the problem is the ATMs are out of money on the little island he's on. So he's worried, he's scared about how he's going to be able to feed his, him and his family. So that, that is uh, some issues that you might have to deal with <laughs> if you're living in a more remote spot in the Philippines or anywhere else in Asia. So, um, luckily I'm here in the city. Well, I say luckily now, but uh, eh, that may not be so lucky later on. Tim K yeah, m might actually be in a in a better spot. Um, other changes. You see the taxi over there. The governor of Cebu has banned taxis and other public utility vehicles from using their air conditioners. So if you're in a public vehicle, you're going to be sweating a lot. Um, they say that the air conditioning is contributing to the spread of this virus. I don't know how true that is. Um, so if you're in Cebu and you're going to get in a taxi, it's probably not going to be such a pleasant ride, even if you have the window rolled down. Uh, the same with the buses and any other public transportation option that you might use. I'm not sure about grab car. I don't know if that falls under public utility, but the next time I take one, I'll let you guys know. Um, so yeah, 
I'm pretty lucky here. There's some surrounding islands like Negros Oriental, Bahal. Um, those islands are pretty much on a lockdown from the last I read. So a couple of these places are still open. Not all of them. Leilam's open, but this place is not. Uh, the bubble tea place is not. The massage place is definitely not. They were closed down long ago. Can't even get a haircut right now. The haircut places are shut down. Um, here in IT Park, most things are closed by six or seven. Um, there are a couple of uh, pharmacies that are staying open 24 hours a day. But even 7-Eleven, which is usually open 24 hours, is only open until 8 p.m. So basically they're following the curfew rules of, of uh, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Krispy Kreme Donuts, are they open? No, nope, it appears not. Well, maybe they are. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, they are. But because there's no dining in, all the chairs are put on the tables. So Krispy Kreme is still open. Thank the Lord. Uh, you can still get your donuts, but you can't enjoy them at the restaurant. You gotta take them home or somewhere else. So at least there's still the option for donuts. But just like everything else, they're not gonna be open uh, 24 hours like they usually are. Um, all of these cities and provinces and the, and the central government, they will review um, these regulations right around mid-April, I think April 14th, and decide if they're going to extend them or if they are going to uh, ease off on them a bit. I don't expect a full um, a, a full rollback, but maybe there'll be some things that yeah, the KFC takeout takeout available here. Um, Starbucks has shut down all of their locations in the Philippines. So um, before they kept the ones in the Visayas and Mindanao on, but now they shut them all off. Um, I'm guessing because it's um, maybe more difficult to get their supplies from from uh, from Luzon, I don't know. The coffee beans also been shut down for at least a week now. Mostly it has an inconvenience me because I don't really uh, go to coffee shops. So the call centers are open. The governor is encouraging the call centers to um, provide on site. Uh, uh, sleeping for their employees they don't want employees traveling so I don't know what the call centers will do if they'll follow that or if they will just shut down after a while um, business is down I, I know call center people who are who have been laid off um, which is understandable so we're gonna take a little walk down the street. Um, <laughs> this road is usually bumper to bumper. It's one of the main thoroughfares in the city. Um, but most people are uh, are staying home, which is what they're supposed to be doing. Um, to be honest, just like in the States, there are a lot of people who are out of work now. So. Um, there may not be reason for many people to go out, so it's okay. Um, you know, in the States and just about every country now, they're dealing with that. 
Oh, even the Honda dealership looks like it's closed. I can't imagine people <laughs> wanting to buy new motorbikes at this point. Um, I've been asked, I, well, let me back up. Um, there's been a handful of times now where people have asked me for money. Uh, people in the Philippines and people in other countries. A lot of people, they're, sorry for the construction noise. There are people who live day to day in the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, even in the States. So, you know, just ha not having money for a few days has been a really tough thing. So, unfortunately, I can't help everybody. Um, you know, I got to watch out for myself, too. So, um, again, money isn't an issue. If I needed to get out of the Philippines quickly, I could. But I don't see that happening in the near future. As you can see, everything is uh, relatively under control. There hasn't been any, uh, any bad things happening, so not too concerned all right so i just wanted to give you guys an update um things are mostly the same here um so again i appreciate my subscribers i appreciate everybody who's viewing even if you're not subscribing and i'll give you guys another update in a few days things are changing quickly here and of course around the world so at least I can give you the updates about here. So for Asia Unscripted, this is Jason, and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you. Take care.